What's happening good people, welcome to the channel, I'm Wes aka Mr Budget Watch and today I'm doing something a little bit different and something I've not really done on the channel too much so I thought uh, I'd take a look at Invicta watches because obviously I think Invicta have got a pretty uh, bad reputation for making really sort of garish uh, looking watches like, you know, this sort of stuff but I've actually been looking on this website, uh, Invicta Store Europe, so it's their official store for Europe, and I've actually found 10 that I don't think are too bad. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be showing you and uh, well let's just start. So the first one is the Invicta Pro Diver, you can see the uh, price here. Uh, these, by the way, aren't affiliated or anything. This is just me showing you some Invictus that I think, you know, are actually quite nice. Uh, so like I said, this is the first one. It's a 43mm quartz diver, but I like this one. I mean, if you look at it, it's really cool. It's got sort of like a hammerhead shark motif around, you can see sort of the fins and uh, thingy tail design around uh, the indices. I uh, also got the uh, little hammerhead shark there as well. I just think it's really cool. I wasn't expecting, you know, a dial like that from Invicta. Uh, you know, spec wise, you know, it's uh, obviously it's not the best for the price point, but 84 euros. Um, I don't know how much that is in pounds. I think it's like 70 quid or something like that. Uh, they've also got loads of other colorways as well. So they've got this, uh, this one, which is admittedly a little bit more garish. Uh, that grey one, you know, quite nice. And then we've got a uh, green, which is also quite nice. A couple of two tones. Uh, that one actually, I'm, I'm not hating that one. That's actually quite cool. And then we've got a uh, thing you want again with a little bit more gold though this time. And then we've got a full one, which yeah, a little bit too much. And then uh, back to that one, which is uh, my favourite out of all of them. We've got this you know, two tone bezel. And I just think it's uh, really nice and, you know, well done. Um, so yeah, that's that's the first one. Uh, moving on to this one. So this is a little bit of, I would say, homage, obviously, of a uh, Rolex. But this one, again, it's a little bit on the big side. So uh, yeah, these definitely aren't for us guys with slim wrists. Uh, but again, I quite like this one because, you know, they've done things a, a little bit different. You know, they've not done a direct uh, copy. Obviously, they've got their branding just there but it's the dial that sort of really um captured me i think it's really cool again it's not like applied or anything but just the pattern and the design um i think it could have done without the cyclops which doesn't look the best uh, to be that fair uh but you know what it's nice again you know 88 euro um i mean i don't think it were ever 160 but you know uh, specs are just here uh, again loads of other colors as well so we've got a uh, black we've got a green uh, which is not bad. The silver, that's that's quite nice. So it's got like a sunburst as well as the uh, the pattern. And then of course we've got all these uh, gold ones, which are uh, a little bit much. And then these two tone ones, you know, they're not not bad. I think that's quite quite nice. It's not too much uh, gold, but yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, I'll link the website down in the thing so you can actually see. These are all your specifications. So it's actually a decent set of specs. Uh, so yeah, moving on to the next one. This one, again, another homage. See, I didn't really think Invicta made homages, but well, apparently they've got quite a few. Again, though, this is on the big side. Not really sure why, uh, you know, they only cater to really big wrists, but, you know, they do. Uh, but yeah, this one I thought was, uh, you know, quite nice as well. Obviously, it's a presage homage. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a nice watch. You know, it's got the date window, which I wish they would have got rid of. But, you know, it's a nice looking watch. Uh, again, you know, it's not original, uh, apart from the crown. Uh, they've definitely uh, not took, uh, taken that from the presage. That's definitely, uh, you know, something uh, that Seiko haven't put on theirs. You know, obviously, the case is more basic. Uh, the strap thingy but i think on a different strap it could look really nice again all your specs uh, just here so we've got japanese quartz vj52 i think that might be a seiko uh, movement probably one of the like less common ones but yeah moving on and we've got another diver so this one i couldn't find another one that looked the same so i think this one could be i mean it might be influenced maybe by a few different watches but i can't find one that looks exactly like this so again, we've got that two-tone bezel. We've got um, really nice, sharp hands. 
uh, all polished, branded uh, thingy, Invicta applied. And I just think it's really nice. No date window as well, so it's nice and symmetrical. 93 euro, but again, it's huge. 45 mil. Uh, specs, PC21. So yeah, it's a uh, thingy. What's that? Loom, uh, Trinite. Trite now, I've never heard of uh, uh, that. I'm presuming that might be their proprietary uh, loom. And that's probably just on the hands by the looks of it. Again, more colour options available. So we've got this, uh, you know, black and red, black and orange, and then uh, a green, which is not bad. And then we've got the um, the gold ones. Obviously, they do like the gold and stuff. Uh, but, you know, even that's not too distasteful. So moving on. Uh, so this is very, very similar to the other one, but it's just a, a different dial and, of course, more colour options. So this one, uh, Sunburst, that's, that just, oof, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know how I feel about those. But again, you know, it's, it's a nice looking watch compared to, uh, you know, the rest of their range. Uh, this one, you know, caught my eye because of all the colours. So we've got this, like, um, golden yellow. It looks a little bit Pogue-esque in colour. Uh, which I thought was uh, quite nice. And then we've got a, a classic black, the uh, silver, a red, which I don't really like. I don't, it's not a nice shade of red. The blue is quite nice. And then we've got a, uh, it's not quite Tiffany blue, but it's got that sort of Tiffany-esque uh, look to it. Uh, again, specs are there, it's using the same movement as the uh, last one. And of course, you know, you've got all these uh, two-tone and gold as well. Because, you know, it won't be in Victor. We are a little bit of, uh, of that. Uh, moving on to the next one, uh, this is their automatic and it's actually a reasonable size. Uh, so this is uh, their Pro Diver which is basically a uh, subby homage but it's actually, um, I think it's more of the vintage uh, one. Um, obviously the uh, newer Submariners are a little bit sort of uh, rounder whereas this one you know it's got slightly more re elongated lugs, different crown guards. Um, you know the uh, dial is a little bit different as well as is the uh, the bezel. Obviously, it's one of those really slippy bezels, which aren't great. But, you know, it's it's an automatic. So, you can see it's a uh, Seiko NH35. But they've put a, a custom rotor on a silicone strap. And I think it's a, it's a nice-looking watch. Uh, go figure. So, yeah, there's all uh, your specifications. And I think it's actually quite a, uh, you know, nice watch. You can go get these on a bracelet as well. They're quite um, popular. Uh, on a bracelet, you can get them from like Amazon and stuff like that. But I just thought that was, you know, quite quite nice. So moving on is actually probably my uh, favourite of theirs that they've done. Uh, so this is a uh, chronograph, but I think it's just it's an, it's nice. Uh, the only thing that does sort of throw it off a little bit for me is the mismatched hands. You can see we've got this like really sharp one here, and then this sort of arrow one there. I wish they'd have kept them both the same for symmetry but you know that's just me cathedral style hands really nice uh, clean thing here uh, handset second hands nice and then we've got this sort of tacky meter around the edge which i'm wish they would have left off to be uh, fair but i think it's a nice looking uh, a nice looking watch so there's all uh, around it again you know it's on the larger side so i wouldn't be able to you know pull it off uh, VH this uh, 64 so it's a yeah, another Seiko movement but yeah a few different colors not a fan of that one that yeah the red uh, but yeah I think the uh, this one is the one to go for that oh no that's a uh, thing and then uh, yeah <laughs> so if you stick to that one that's actually uh, quite nice the rest of them not so much so moving on uh, we've got this one. So this one is a uh, homage to, of course, the Rolex Daytona. But of course, you know, they've put their own little spin on it. You can see the dial is actually sort of like a multi-textured one. So we've got this sort of like sea shelly looking pattern in the middle. And then, uh, you know, a diamond one around the edge. It's very subtle, uh, but it's nice. You've got date window, three sub dials, branded, professional speedway. So you can tell it's definitely, you know, a homage of the Daytona. But, you know, it's not a direct, you know, one-to-one. -one. They've definitely added, you know, their own uh, little uh, elements to it. Uh, there's your specs again. If you just want to take a quick look. Uh, colour options, you know, we've got a black dial, which is quite nice. You can see that pattern a little bit clearer on the black one. So you can see the uh, sort of stippled diamond 
and then it does look a little bit like a seashell so I'm not really sure what relevance that has to uh, a speedway but you know it is what it is uh, the blue no I'm, I think the black and silver are definitely yeah, the way to go so two more to go and we've got this one so this is again I think an original uh, thing it's definitely got some elements from Seiko you can see uh, those on um, I believe monster style uh, indices just there uh, which you know it's thinking then we've got sort of like a subby-esque case but again we've got that uh, different lug and uh, different uh, crown guard but yeah I just thought it were a little bit different it's definitely uh, not you know direct copy of anything uh, the bezel though is looking a little bit omega-esque hands I've never seen those before so yeah and it's uh, automatic as well you know we've got that NH35 a few different color options so we've got a clean black that's actually my favorite I think that's uh, a really nice one and then we've got the blue the one I've just showed you uh, this the white dial that's that's not bad either that's uh, you know that's not too bad and of course we've got you know all the uh, gold uh, ones the specs are uh, just here so if you uh, want to check that out and then we move on to the last one so this again is i think it's possibly original i don't know i mean it's definitely got some rolex vibes to it the deep sea um but yeah definitely again don't think it's a direct one-to-one -one. so you can see master of the sea pro diver uh, what's the water? It's 200 meter water resistance uh, But yeah date window uh, it just looks a little bit lost to be fair I wish they'd have you know, just copied the indice over uh, But yeah, I just think again. It's uh, it's quite a nice looking one I mean again, it's not like over, you know over the top like what Invicta do uh, We've also got this one as well, which is also quite nice a gray with a uh, you know red accents a uh, two-piece uh, nylon strap which looks nice so again we've got that custom rotor on uh, their movement there's all your specifications again and yeah guys that is your lot so they're sort of 10 invictors that i don't think are too bad i mean on the grand scheme of things when you think of invicta you know what sort of watches uh, come to mind so when i saw these i thought you know what yeah they're, you know they're not amazing but they're not garish so they do have some nice watches if you know what to look for so that's it guys if you were uh, you know want more videos like this uh, let me know by leaving a comment i can look at different brands and try and find some hidden gems uh, within them uh, as well so yeah guys that's it thanks for watching see you soon thanks for watching the video be sure to subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you enjoyed it hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads and of course follow me on social media at mr budget watch thanks again i'll see you soon